All right, folks, back in the summer of 92, I took Amtrak up to uh, visit my ex-girlfriend in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Not an ex at the time, and then I took Amtrak back, and I get off right at the 30th Street Station in Philly, and I'm like, all right, I'll go right down, I'll catch the L. Well, uh, the station was under repair or something like that, so I'm like, nah, I'll just walk to, like, you know, 15th and Market and whatnot, or, you know, where the City Hall Tower is and whatnot. So I get there. And, you know, it, it was really hot, and I had a big duffel bag, and I was sore, and I'm like, well, I'll go down here and get the L. And then I thought, what am I, a fucking nut? Spend a dollar fifty to go seven fucking blocks to eight to market? Ah, bullshit. I just went in there, like a, a little cafe it was right near there. I went in there, I got a glass of water, some shit like that. I get off my feet for a few minutes, I finished the fucking trip. I mean, you'd have to be out of your fucking mind to spend a dollar fifty to go seven blocks, unless you're carrying, like, the fucking Ark of the Covenant, Covenant or some heavy bullshit like that. And if you're carrying that around, I hope you're getting help. So anyway, four or so years ago, this acquaintance, former friend of my wife, this real grade A shit for brains fucking hick moron, comes to visit Nashville because she likes country music. And I'm not saying country music fans are shit for brain hick morons. I like some country music myself. I'm not a shit for brain hick moron, but I am an asshole. So anyway, this shit for brains hick moron buys these new fucking cowboy boots. Now, does she think enough to try these in before traveling? No! She decides to break in these new cowboy boots when she's on her trip, so she's getting, I guess she's getting blisters on her feet, she's fucking sore and whatnot. Luckily, I was off visiting some friends, hello Brian and Kyle, off in Bowling Green, and uh, seeing Blue Oyster Cult, so I didn't have to hear and see a lot of this crap. I guess her feet were sore, and she had these fucking blisters and such. So apparently, as my wife says, that they were in front of the, where were we at? I don't know, two blocks from where we needed to go. They were like two blocks from where they needed to go. And she wanted to get a cab because her feet were sore. I'm thinking, you want to waste some money, waste the money, to take a fucking cab. Actually, it was like a block and a half. A block and a half. And the cab driver probably would have looked at her and said, are you out of your fucking mind? You want me to go a block and a half because your feet are sore? You shit for brains fucking hick. I'll give you some fucking advice. Get back on a plane and go the fuck back to California or whatnot. So anyway, you know, I thought about it for a second, and I thought, I cannot see wasting a dollar fifty. And it's probably more than that now. This is 1992. I don't fuck know what the L fare is. Now, you go look it up on SEPTA if you want to find out. S-E-P-T-A. So anyway, I almost spent a... I don't know, my fucking shoulder was killing me. I had a fucking backpack sweating my balls off in the middle of summer. But I'm not wasting a dollar fifty to go seven fucking blocks. Meanwhile, this shit for braids, hick chicken shit from California, wanted to waste money on a fucking cab to go like a block and a half. So, uh, you know what? Um, if you're going to travel, travel fucking smart. Break your boots in ahead of time and be a fucking cheapskate. Or don't, you know, just uh, you know what? If you're that fucking dumb and you don't know what to, to, to try, test out your boots or, you know, wear them, break them in ahead of time, just don't fucking travel. You shouldn't go anywhere. Stay in your house. Stay right there. Be a burden on your relatives and, and no one else. The end. How can you tell a tourist in downtown Nashville? Because they all wear those uh, cowboy boots and the fucking hats because they figure they're going to fit right in. And their cowboy boots are new. And their cowboy boots are new. Uh, my cowboy boots are non-existent because I don't own any.